Good evening. Tonight we are going to review a band called Timber Tambor. The name of the album is Creep On Creepin' On and it came out this year, 2011. So what happened here? If you listen to the vocals, a couple things immediately jump out. You have what sounds like an Elvis impersonator going awry with a little bit of Nick Cave intonation. Maybe a dash of a Danzig croon. Uh, I always thought that Danzig could kind of affect the Elvis uh, tone in his voice. So those three things mixed together isn't really that far-fetched. Uh, what do you call this kind of music? Uh, Canadian death wop? Um, how about doo-wop noir? I think that works. Anyhow, getting to the music, I love the economy of sounds, the less is more approach to this album. I love the bass and the instrumentation when it's very Spartan. I like that. They do more with less. They use the entire carcass of the music, which I respect. There's some nice hooks, and for dark music, it's pretty catchy, and there's some nice melodies. I uh, like Bad Ritual and another song called Too Old to Love and the title track. There's some kind of seemingly random 50s movies, sci-fi sounds in the background that are kind of interesting, and some surfy uh, guitars in places, uh, but also some quality lyrics. And I have a quote here that kind of caught my eye. You've fallen barefoot past the tree line, baby bone-eyed, birches sway, and a thousand white fish floating belly up in the spirit that I crave. The lyrics are top-notch, I would say poetic, they are poetry in my book, because I do indeed own books of poetry. This is a large book of poetry, see, I am an authority on poetry. These vocals, lyrics, are poetic. Anyhow, the problem that I have with this album is when the cliched or more trite moments songs kind of, uh, of uh, lay the gimmick bare. The curtain is opened, and you see that, okay, this person, he's kind of a Elvis Cavely or a Nick Presley. Um, the pose starts to come off kind of affected, like the song Lonesome Hunter. Everything goes wrong. There's another song called Do I Have the Power, which reminds me a lot of I Put a Spell on You by Screaming Jay Hawkins. Not the vocals so much, but the music and the buildup and just kind of the frenzy. And again, the corny Elvis impersonator just comes off really heavy. And I swear to God, that song closes with the Pink Panther uh, theme song, which is ridiculous. I'll pretty much take a whole star off this rating just for that song alone. Uh, anyhow, um, like I said earlier, when the gimmick is laid bare, you start cringing. Um, it's like when you go to a carnival freak show and you, and you want to see the mermaid. And when you finally get into the booth and you see the mermaid, it's actually just uh, fish uh, sewn onto a skeleton of a monkey. And you're totally disappointed. Um, I see what you're doing here, Mr. Timber Tambor. You're not fooling me. And one of these days, these funhouse mirrors are going to fail you. I give this album a 3.5 out of 5.